and standard deviation questions can get pretty lengthy to solve especially when you do it manually right obviously but life can always get easier when you have this tiny calculator device so let's get straight to the video and understand the calculator hacks to calculate mean and standard deviation reducing the calculation time to literally 10 to 15 seconds only Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. This is the third video in the CFA calculator series, the mean and standard deviation calculator hack, which is also the most awaited calculator series video. So I know it was supposed to come in a short. You were also expecting a short video only, but because it was delayed due to my health reasons, which you all have very kindly accepted. So thank you. So yes, because it was delayed, I thought that I much rather club the mean and standard deviation into one. detailed video so that i explain you things in much more detail much more step by step and that was not going to be covered in one minute hence i decided to use a long format video anyway i do not want to waste any more of your time let's get straight to the video in case you have any questions suggestions or any doubts let me know in the comment section below and i will do my best to answer them guys okay, so let's get started with this part let's just on the calculator then You can see I've put five data points on the side here. They are just random pick numbers, nothing, no questions. So just keep in mind, it's just an example. So yes, now we have five data points. First step, we will go is press second seven. You will see x zero one. You need to first clear that. You can see there's a ten. That that is the sum that I was doing randomly before. So see the calculator holds it. That's why it's always important to clear past data. How will you clear past data in this case? You'll press second C E C. Again, second C E C. You have to clear past data, otherwise you will get a completely invalid answer. Now, X zero one in this point is where you will add your first data point, which is twenty five, and then you will enter. You will go down. You will see Y zero one, which is one, which means that the frequency of the first data point you entered is one. Yes, keep it to that. Enter. You go down. You put your second data point, which is thirty-six. Then you enter again. Y zero two one. Yes, just enter. Go down. X zero three. You'll put your third data point, which is fifty-six. Enter down. Y zero three one. Yes, perfect. Enter. Go down. X zero four four data point seventy-one. Guys, these are very random numbers. I myself don't know the answer. Aga, let's see. So enter again down arrow down arrow y zero four one perfect enter down and the last one x zero five which is twenty two enter done y zero five enter now you'll be like okay we've put all the data points now what now is where the magic will happen you will press second eight this is stat number so second eight and you will see l i n wait just wait. You will press the down arrow again. N is equal to five. You got it. There were five data sets. Correct answer. Next, mean will be forty-two. You guys can calculate it and check. It will be correct. I'm very sure. And then we'll get sample standard deviation as twenty point nine eight eight zero nine. This is correct. If you want the variance, you can just square this number as well. But we don't want the variance right now. We want the standard deviation. Now this is the sample standard deviation, and most cases this is the answer that will be taken. If you go one step down, you will see you will get the population uh, standard deviation. This is not what people see. There are very very complicated videos online, so just stick to S X. All you need is the first two things: the mean and the sample standard deviation. Just stick to that. If they ask for the variance, just square this. Please do not complicate life with all those complicated videos of how to change it to one variable, two variable, three variable. There are very very complicated videos online. Do not follow that. Stick to the basics. Always remember, basics are always second seven, second clear. All data points will be filled in X, not in Y. Y just states the frequency. See, there's nothing, so it'll be zero. So why is just the frequency? All data points will only be in X. Once you are done filling all your data points, you go to second eight. L I N has to be ignored. You go down. You get N, which will tell you the number of data points that you had. 
okay now we have not put any data points but yeah stick to the basics please do not complicate life and yes that was the very very simple yet very very important mean and standard deviation trick if you guys like this video then don't forget to comment share subscribe it would mean really a lot to me i need all your love and support also as always if you have any questions any suggestions please let me know in the comment section i'd be happy to help as much as i can i will see you guys very very soon until then keep sparkling and definitely keep learning